What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and you have been asking me for the longest time start making Enscape tutorials and today that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. So uh, I finally uh, uh, got uh, a version of Enscape uh, for Revit and I'm going to be uh, reviewing it uh, in the future. I decided to start off with this first impressions video uh, just to just to, well, show you my first impressions, uh, just a first reaction to what it has to offer, and just go through some of the first features that kind of grabbed my attention and that I really liked out of the box. But as I said, in the future I plan on uh, reviewing everything in depth, going into small details and figuring out some tips and tricks that you might like to see. Uh, now, when it comes to Enscape, uh, it's a really cool real-time uh, rendering engine. It, well, it does exactly how it's called. It renders in real time. So it allows you to make changes to your model and then you can immediately see the impact of that. It has a really, uh, really, really nice presentation of everything. I was truly amazed at how, uh, how, how effective the change was just out of the box with no settings whatsoever. Everything looked much, much better than it ever would in Revit or with regular Revit rendering. So I was quite amazed. Uh, so it's a really cool tool. Uh, I'm going to include a link in the description just below the video if you want to check out uh, Enscape and if you want to get it. There is a free trial. It's also uh, free, I think, for students. And then uh, the pricing is quite affordable for uh, what you get uh, with this uh, type of software. So uh, make sure to check it out. Okay, so uh, without any further ado, let's get straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit. Now, this is the house that I'm going to be using. If you would like to see a complete course where I show you how to model this house and produce all of the necessary project documentation, I do have that course on my website. The link will be in the description. Anyways, let's now visualize this in Enscape. And I must admit that I was quite amazed and blown away at how good the quality is. So if I go here to the Enscape tab, and this is what you're going to get when you uh, install Enscape. So once you install it, it appears here in Revit as a separate tab. You can start it simply by going here to control, go to start, and that's going to start up Enscape. Uh, now it does take uh, a few moments for it to start up depending on the speed of your computer. I must admit my computer is a little bit slow, uh, but anyways, as soon as it starts up, you're going to see the effect. So this is the effect. So it does look uh, quite amazing, but the the kind of the true power is, uh, you can really see the true power when you zoom in and see the details. So for example, it already took the existing Revit trees that we have, and it has replaced it with really, really high quality 3D trees, which is quite cool. And then also, if I just go down a little bit, you can see the water here. Uh, it's, well, it's actually moving. And even the trees are moving. You can see it's kind of on in the wind. Uh, it's, it's really quite an amazing level of kind of quality and detail that you get here. Uh, now, the best way to work when it comes to Enscape is to have a dual monitor system. So you have Enscape on one monitor and Revit on the other. And then you can visualize the changes that you make to your design uh, uh, in Enscape and you can make the design changes in Revit here on your other monitor. Uh, now in case you don't have that or in this case where I'm creating a video, well there is a little bit uh, a, a little trick that you can do if you have uh, Windows 10 and that is to undock Revit and then dock it over here at the side and then start up Enscape next to that uh, and, and just choose it as the second window. So you do have that ability. It is going to be a bit uh, short here or a bit small area to work with, but it does get the job done. Uh, anyways, what's really cool about Enscape is it's a real-time rendering engine. And what real-time rendering means, well, it means just how it sounds. It's real-time rendering. So for example, if we take a look at these doors that we have over here, if I select one of those doors uh, here in Revit, and if I decide to get rid of it, you will see that here in Enscape that change will be applied. 
instantly so any changes that you make to, 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 to your design uh, the changes will instantly apply here in Enscape and that's the beauty of it now when it comes to navigation it's fairly simple and straightforward quite uh, quite intuitive you do have uh, a couple of options that you can use you can use this fly mode or if you hit the space key you go down to the ground and then you can walk around uh, you have the ability to kind of double click and it takes you there uh, and let me just hit the space key to go back to walk mode and this is just like being in a video game which is really cool it transports your Revit model into a video game uh, now uh, it even has kind of an interactive way to, to display the model so for example you cannot go through this wall it, it does recognize that as an obstacle same thing here with this table just doesn't let you go through but it does recognize the door family as something that you can go through so for example here we can get inside of the house which is quite cool and now you can see that there is might not be enough room here so that can kind of help you change the design and make sure that there is enough room there now let's get out of here here as you can see we have a door so I can just walk through that and there we go we're on the outside uh, now you can use these commands here uh, as I said they're quite uh, intuitive and easy to, to kind of get started now uh, what's uh, really cool about this is not only does it display your model at an uh, amazing quality but also it does let you improve the model now uh, the downside of working uh, in Revit is the fact that you can't really find uh, any uh, good families online and there are some options of course they do cost money uh, but uh, there there isn't really kind of a free way to improve the uh, the quality of your models so with Enscape what uh, what you have is here if I go to Revit good to tools and then here you can see we have an asset library so these are basically assets or uh, so this, families so to speak uh, but of course they're just there to make your model look nicer and improve the whole presentation so if you go here to the asset library it's going to open up this window and you can see that here we have many many assets you can scroll down through them you'll see that there's anything that you might find yourself looking for you need a little tent for your child well there you go there's sofas there's furniture there's as you can see here from the numbers there's quite a bit of everything uh, now what's really cool about this and let me go here let's go to trees for example because everybody likes realistic trees so for trees uh, if I decide to select a tree here like this I can go here in Revit so uh, keep that in mind you're placing the element in Revit not in Enscape but in Revit uh, so I can place the tree here hit the escape key a couple of times and if I just let's see there we go and here's the tree in the background we can kind of uh, look around and there we go we have that new tree uh, now what's uh, also a really good option and something that I really think is quite powerful and that's the fact that you can use the existing families in your project like for example these trees that we have over here and you can replace them so you can use some fairly simplistic families to set up your project because it's going to make it easier for you to work uh, to work but when it comes to presentation you can simply go here to tools asset library and as soon as that one that opens up here you can go to let's go to trees and replace the existing ones so for example let's say we don't want these we want palm trees here well I can simply scroll down here let's say I want I don't know I want this tree we have this little button here and we have the option to link Revit family to asset so once I click this it opens up all of the all of the Revit families that they have in this project I can search for that tree it's this one if I select it and click OK you will see in a few moments it's going to replace those with these really cool palm trees and they're actually moving in the wind which I find really really cool and yeah so you can uh, either insert assets or these high quality uh, elements or assets in, in your project but you can also replace existing ones to kind of improve your design now another thing that they really like and that's something that they've always found annoying with Revit and all of the other 3d software is the way that they display grass and that's usually what gives away how fake the model is uh, now currently here the grass looks well it it also looks fake uh, but the reason for that is because here for the grass material I've used that 
plant material. Uh, so what Enscape does is it recognize the, recognizes the material in Revit and then it kind of improves on it. It uh, just does a much better representation. So if I select the topography here and go to the properties, go to material, and here as you can see it says plant. If I just change that from plant into grass, just like this, so here as you can see we can load in grass, hit apply, and okay, give it a few moments, and there we go. So now we have actual, just let's give it a second. There we go. So we have actual grass, and it's kind of moving, which is really, really cool. Uh, now here we do seem to have a problem because uh, this, uh, this little patio is a, a little bit too low. So I'm just going to give this floor an offset, something like five centimeters should do the trick. So let's give it a second. There we go. Now everything looks much, much better. So if you want to make some uh, views where you kind of display uh, grass, this is going to allow you to do so. So for example, we take a look at the, the model from the other side. Yeah, see, also here where you have the road and then you have that grass, I think everything looks really, really good. There we go, much more realistic, and that's really what makes the model kind of pop out and makes it look so so much more realistic than the than the regular one. And finally, I would just like to take a few moments to uh, show you the uh, visual settings that you that you can set up for your model and these can really improve the way that everything looks that can really set the feel and the tone of the of the presentation that you want to make uh, so here on the Enscape tab we have these settings uh, panel and there we have these visual settings so if I just open that up this is what that looks like we have rendering image atmosphere and capture now for rendering uh, you do have some options like these outlines which I guess you can use sometimes, but I, I don't like them so much. <laughs> I don't like that look, but uh, I'm sure uh, I would be able to find an application for that as well. Uh, you have some modes here, and I actually have a whole video on how to have a kind of all white effect, and it like take took me like 20 minutes and here it's just one second. So that's quite cool. Uh, next we have the exposure uh, and so on. Uh, what they do really like is the depth of field. That's what kind of gets you that little blurry effect to the lens that everybody loves. Uh, so if I just crank that up a little bit, as you can see, it kind of blurs everything that's closer to you or a further away of the focal point. Focal point is kind of the, the, the point that's in focus. And uh, what's really cool is the uh, is the fact that you can actually change that. So for example, here we have that autofocus, but if I turn that off, I can move it. And when I move it, you see this little line that shows you where that focal point is. So I can set it like this at the house. There we go, and I can even zoom in using the kind of the field of view. So it really has some general camera settings, which are really cool. And then you can even increase the depth of field even further if you want. But I think this is way too much. So anyways, you can play around with this. Let me go back to autofocus, but it can really get everything to look really, really good. You can set the rendering quality here. You want perhaps medium, high, or ultra, which sounds very high. Uh, anyways, uh, also here for atmosphere, this is what actually allows you to set kind of the whole uh, mood of the image. So here you can uh, set up uh, the fog if you want. So if you want some uh, fog, you can set up the height. So how high your model is. Uh, next we have the illumination like the sun brightness and so on. Shadow sharpness, which is quite cool. So you can make have your shadows really sharp or not sharp at all, which I find really, really cool. Uh, we have moon size, uh, artificial light brightness, and so on. Uh, the horizon, so for example here, as you can see, the horizon are kind of the woods, the forest, but you can change it from a forest to whatever you want. So here we have like a town, or you can have uh, white cubes, which looks really cool, especially with that white effect. Uh, also, you can set it in desert or wherever. So it's 
really really cool perhaps mountains look good as well there we go also you can play around with wind this is probably makes more sense if you're exporting an animation but you can crank that wind up and as you can see now the trees are moving even more uh, uh, you can even set up the direction angle of wind, which is cool. Also, the clouds, their 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 den density, uh, cirrus clouds. Those are kind of the the clouds above these here, and so on. So there's really so much that you can play around with to set the whole mood of the image, which I really like because I think that's really important and can get neglected in some cases. Uh, but anyways, uh, those were just the first impressions, something that I kind of like out of the box, something that they like and that they would like to share with you. And please tell me in the comment section below, do you use Enscape? Would you like to start using it in the future? And would you like me to make more videos about it? Um, or perhaps some specialized tutorials as I expl ex uh, explore it more, I can teach you some kind of advanced tactics and approaches, tips and tricks how to get the most out of it and how to get those perfect uh, renderings and perfect presentations uh, maybe talk about animation and, and so on so i think it can be really really cool uh, but anyways uh, yeah tell me that in the comment section below check out the link in the description if you want to get it you can get like 14 days free trial and then uh, even if you purchase it i think it's quite a fairly cheap compared to what you get for it so i think it's a very good offer but anyways uh tell me what you think uh explore it uh, if you're interested and i'll see you soon with another uh, tutorial in a few days make sure to subscribe like and share this video and i'll see you in a couple of days have a nice day